Hello loves, welcome back to the Comedic Spirituality Series. Today we're going to be talking about baths. <laughs> um, and we're going to be breaking down um, her a little bit so that y'all can understand her more. Luna is in heat, so if you hear her meowing a lot, she's on heat. Okay. Um, but this is actually the first thing that I want to point out about working with <laughs> bus sets um is that you should have a cat I, 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 this is my own personal opinion but from what i'm going to tell you it makes no sense to work with bass if you don't have a cat <laughs> okay so she's in heat <laughs> she's in heat um you should be working with her in cat form because she um it is, it is within her rulership to, you know, work with cats. And she embodies cats, too. She manifests as cats. So you should have a cat if you're going to work with bass. I'm just saying. I, this is not up for debate. I'm not fighting nobody. I don't want to hear it. Okay, now that I fixed the shades, we can get started. Uh, so we're going to be talking about bass today. And we're going to be going over basic info, things that you need to know if you want to work with her. But the first, the first thing that you should do is invest in a cat because that is one of the ways that she works and uses her energy um and manifests in your life as well in a very action-based way and the reason why this is so let's talk about bass a little bit so bass is in charge is feline so she is a feminine um netter and um has dominion over cats uh, cats are sacred to Basset and there's a reason why cats are uh, were venerated during that time. Um, the thing that you need to keep in mind about Bas Basset is that it's not just that there, there's a difference between Sekhmet and Basset, okay? And we're gonna be, I'm gonna be breaking that down, those differences in a different video because I don't want to make this video too, 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 too long. And you guys know I can talk a lot. But there is a difference between the two. Basset is more of a personal protector um, netter specifically. Uh, she is seen as an extension of Ra, okay? Ra being the sun netter, okay? The netter of creation. Um, and so is a feline. So cats, cats. Are, like if you were oh what animals connected to cats <laughs> okay literally cats um the the way that she is described is um the eye of Ra who protects her father Ra okay so she is seen as someone who is protective of the creator now because Ra is the creator of everyone that means that when you have a cat and this is what i'm telling you if you're gonna work with best you need to have a cat it is that cat is pr protecting you personally it's an extension of your protective energies and that is the way that you should be seeing it versus segment which again we're going to cover in a different video because there are differences a lot um at one point they did get combined and venerated um in the same kind of way but there are still there were still um cults to each that's her in different ways so just keep that in mind because i don't want y'all to confuse the two it it she like is an extension of raw and segment is seen as an extension of raw as well but all of the nesters are okay um but in a protective sense you have to take into account how cats are the behavior of cats and why they're so powerful in the first place now during that time cats were obviously very protective and there were there were hunters they hunt right they kill snakes and obviously snakes are something that you know not only were netters themselves and were used by different netters themselves but snakes are also they can be poisonous somebody can get bitten by a snake and they can end up in a whole entire situation they can end up dead or something like that so cats were very protective because you have a cat in your home obviously if a snake came through your window somehow you would know your cat would handle that <laughs> i'm just saying so there is a protective element not only physically but spiritually as well um cats are hunters 
okay so when uh when they say the eye of Ra who protects her father Ra okay that means that the eyes of Basset are very very important the eyes are very very important because that's how they hunt they're able to kind of catch different sensations and vibrations including with the sensitivity of their eyes being able to see spirits which is why they are known as one of the guardians of the underworld okay um and this will, we're gonna get into the book of the dead in a different video because i'm gonna have to break that down in poems okay so stay tuned for that but that's why she has a protective energy physically like in reality but then she also has a protective energy spiritually because as as having that eye of raw being the extension of the creator's eye that means that they can see things that you're not seeing okay um whether you're intuitive or not whether you're do cats will know ahead of time and this is what i'm saying if you're gonna work with a set you need to have a cat so um but that is seen as the manifestation of the solar eye, okay? And so there, it's about shining the light and like fixating on what needs to come into awareness. So again, if like you, you're having a situation, whether spiritually or physically, the snake comes into your, your house or something like that, you would know your cat was going to be on alert because they're going to be like, wait, something just moved. What's that? You know how they just get into like this hunting mode? They're able to see deeper. They're able to sense shifts as well that includes physically that includes um spiritually as well um because they are hunters they are really 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 good at being able to protect um whoever they are they are working with um with spirits and different things because they're able to kind of tap into um, malicious spirits and they're able to keep a lot of negativity at bay um this is why when you have a cat it is you know it, it, it creates a kind of a vacuum because they have their own personality and this is also why cats have this personality of kind of like domination they're very like controlling and they're very fixed and they have their set ways and it's like they treat you like you're supposed to worship them and because historically i mean um and so there is this kind of like i own the space and so when they own that space when they set and they ground themselves and it disconnects again to that like, leo fixed sign energy when that it's like when they're grounding themselves and this is like this is my territory when something interrupts and tries to come in their territory they're going to be like okay it's time to hunt something okay so you have to keep that in mind about Basset. she has a hunter style um energy and she is very protective of the person that works with her versus segment which is different and we're going to talk about that again in another video um uh very very heavily protecting not only the home is in which the cat is taken care of but also the person who's taking care of Basset. there is this kind of focus on making sure that the person caring for Basset is not getting into harm um and because Basset also rules like fertility um especially um especially when it comes to having many children not just one but many like plentiful amount of children uh, because again you have to think about how cats multiply um there is this focus on making sure that as your you know your stuff is multiplying because a set is also really good when it comes to fertility not just in the in the physical body like multiplying having kids but also when it comes to like crops and abundance and like you know finances and wealth and stuff like that it is it is definitely a status symbol to have a cat and to be able to maintain it and have it maintain you back physically and spiritually so you have to understand that that element of her um bass is also connected to female such sensuality okay let, let me not get demonetized today <laughs> sensuality okay um and a lot of her festivals you would see um a lot of women showing the yoni um and you know just kind of expressing themselves with their womb space um and it, because obviously if you've ever had a cat you you know a cat's not afraid of just <laughs> you know going in and start licking everything about themselves like they're just my cat is doing it right now wow <laughs> literally when i said it um but there's a freeing nature to um leo uh, leo 
Well, yeah, but um, Bass is energy. This is free nature of you can kind of do whatever you want, but there's also this focus on um, sensuality and um, power and empowerment as well, which is re she's re also really, really, really good at. Um, and they would do in these festivals, they would do like, they had like dances, music, um, like they would do like ceremonies, they would be drinking, but there was a, a big focus on pleasure, which is why if you have issues with sensuality, it's another reason to work with Basset as well. Um, now, I'm looking at my notes because I wrote down all my notes so I can make sure that I don't take five years to tell y'all everything because y'all know how I am. Um, okay, so she rules personal protection. Again, difference between segment and Basset. She rules personal protection, fertility, um, blessings. Um, she's connected to the sunrise as well because she's seen as, uh, so during the daytime, which is why you also might see a cats are very active um, during that like soft spot when the sun is rising. That's also very much connected to Basset. Um, music and dance. So really having fun, enjoying itself, which... It's literally what Leo rules, by the way. Besides the ego, I'm just saying. Um, and the fact that there is a connection with sensuality, you have to think about how we call cats today with the P word, okay? The P word. It didn't come from ancient times, but um, it turned... After some time, cats have gained a reputation for being called a pussycat, right? And so there is this kind of like focus in on women and how we're called that as well um so you have to keep that connection because somehow that belief that connection to Basset and her sensuality again even though the word the p word did not come from Kemet at all um it still kind of carried over the energy of like the yoni and the sensuality still carried over in the later time so I thought that was really really interesting um so the next thing Ra being the creator makes Bass and every other Netter and Netteru an extension of Ra's energy, okay? Because it, it's not just Ra is seen as the sun. So working with Ra is working with the sun. And the sun is seen as the creator Netter, okay? And so you have to understand where, how you're working with the sun's energy. And again, if you look at it astrologically speaking, the sun rules leo that is his dominating sign that is the sign that it rules so there is this kind of like cat energy about it um and you also have to understand the terrain uh especially in north africa and the different animals that are there including in um sub-saharan africa in south africa there's a lot of lions there's a lot of cats so you have to pay attention to the animals that are present during that time so you can understand the culture better um and so because cats are one of the most popular and one of the most deadly and just unbothered spirits um nature spirits Basset was venerated and worked with in a certain amount of, in like in that way now when it comes to herbs that you can work with Basset with uh catnip rose mint ivy lemon balm cannabis as well um cypress and honeysuckle are really really good um to work with Basset with um there are obviously some that you can do you know like physically you can give you can give an offering a catnip at her altar that she would love that shit um so keep that in mind but you can also use this to make her teas because she also likes teas likes teas um so you can leave teas at her um altar space um offerings perfumes red wine milk honey bells because you again you have to treat her like a cat <laughs> cats like to be entertained they like they like tasks they like you know and this is why i'm gonna get into working with bussa in like spiritually um but they like things they like to hunt they like to do things okay they don't they don't just like to sleep all day and stuff like that like they have their moment of rest but when you say hey but that i need you to help me with this that's when you go into that task that's when you go into like, like that laser pointer and you're like trying to um connect and work with us in a different way so keep that in mind okay um gold is also an offering beef raw or um cooked beef cooked meat generally but beef itself uh they really 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 love it and you can do it in two different ways you can either put it at your boss at altar or you can give it to your cat because giving it to your cat same thing i'm just saying an extension of her energy 
uh, fish as well. Barley, wheat, oats are also really good to um, give Fossette because it's just that, again, that abundance, that multi multiplicity energy. Um, you have to think about how they took care of you know, the community during that time, their civilization during that time. It was heavily based, based on producing food and maintaining the culture. So obviously food that multiplied was super important because you can uh, save those grains and then use it slowly as the temperatures and the weather changes and things wouldn't grow at certain times. So keep that in mind that you can use those things as offerings as well. Um, now, the other thing that you can uh, use is uh, capet or Kifi, which is what it's called today um it is an incense and i'm going to do i'm going to show that in a separate video about how to make that but you can also find it online because there are people that make it it is a very traditional um incense blend that was done in ancient times um and Bas Basset loves that one specifically but if you don't have that you can use frankincense as well because it does have franklin's frankincense and mirth in the blend as well um but we're, we're gonna do that recipe at a separate time uh, for crystals, citrine for prosperity, turquoise for peace and protection, carnelian for sensual power, uh, garnet for life and sensual power as well. So those are some of the crystals that you can use to work with Basset. Um, and you can, you know, do different jewelry or have uh, anoint that at the altar and have her bless it for you. So when you're wearing it, it is connected to her, an extension of her energy. Um, but yeah, so Bas Basset is a very uh, amazing netters work with for so many different things but it she's more practical than anything else she helps with the day-to-day -day kind of things because again you have to think about the ancient times they were they had cats everywhere every family they would just have cats they venerated cats when the family members died they the cats will go with them they would like mummify like the cats were very very held to a high standard but they were considered a personal thing they didn't have lions and they didn't have like each family didn't have a lion okay so you have to think that there's a difference between Basset and Sekhmet energetically speaking and from what they rule because you can work with um Basset as well for healing but Sekhmet rules, rules healing Basset is like you can do a lot of healing work ver within what she rules like if you're having issues with fertility issues with self-esteem self-control power um empowerment um fertility like or even like let's say you have a business let's say you're trying to get money or, or something like that you can a like ask her to um bring forth that wealth bring forth that abundance to come in you can do that as well so you have to make sure you're seeing her as an extension of your own you should be representing raw in this you should not see yourself as other if you have a cat okay um you should at some point activate that connection with Basset if that's what you want to do and if that's how you want to work with her I can show you how to do that in a different video it is not that complicated you're literally just going to just hold your cat and we're gonna do that we'll do that in a different video um, but listen um at the end of the day you need to see your cat as an extension of you your own protective energies your own intentions like i obviously work from home right so i personally i set intention for protection every single day but while i have luna in the house at once a week i just hold her and i'm petting her and i'm just telling her what my goals are for the week um and you know what it is that I, i'm trying to do um or, or trying to work on or whatnot and I'll, I'll give her certain tasks i'll be like hey just make sure we're protected make sure nothing you know interferes or comes into the house or whatnot and she will make sure that happens why because i also have roommates so that means that they're also again consent y'all they have access to the door they have access to certain parts of the house so if they're bringing people over or something like that or they were at work and something happened something got attached to them they're bringing it into the house so okay luna Bassett is going to be the one who's going to be able to handle that without me having to like oh my god i have all this spells to no an extension of my energy protective wise fertility wise um abundance wise and also with pleasure because like anytime i'm like it, let, let's say i'm a little down or i'm not feeling good or whatnot she comes to me and she like checks in and she's just like purring and trying to because animals do that they sense when you're not feeling good and they try to kind of lift your spirit so there is this kind of empowerment energy that you do get from having a cat so i'm just 
I'm not gonna say it again, but I'll say it again. If you're gonna work with Bosset, you should have a cat. Because if you're not, if you're just gonna have Bosset in like a, a statue kind of form, what's gonna happen is that you're not gonna be able to understand all the messages because you're not experiencing her energy every single day in the physical realm. Okay, I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. Um, when it comes to ritual work, again, Book of the Dead, you're going to need this. I will have it linked below. But Basset is one of the natures that is featured in the Book of the Dead because we're going to talk about the Book of the Dead in a separate video. But you, you need that she is seen as one of the protectors, um, spiritual protectors, when the soul is going through that transition. So you have to you, you have to process all of the ways that her energies can be used. Um, so yeah, I hope that that makes sense. And I'm going to be doing the altar video that's going to come up next. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to do all the things. Definitely make sure you check out the Patreon down below. Or if you want to be a channel member, the join button will be down below as well. Stay tuned for more in the Comedic Spirituality series because I want y'all to get spiritually educated. I want y'all to be in the know so that's what we're doing so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out um and definitely check out the comedic spirituality playlist so that way you can re-watch any videos that you missed before anyway i will see you guys in the next video